Hello, my name is Tim Dormer, Solutions Architect at AWS. Today, we're going to dive into using namespaces along with custom DNS and custom certificates. In this example, we'll be using two VPCs. In VPC A, I have Cloud9 client running on an EC2 instance. I'll use this both to control my cluster, deploy my YAML files, but also to test access to the VPC lattice service. My EKS cluster will be running in VPC B. We'll start out by creating a custom certificate in AWS Certificate Manager. This needs to match the domain name we wish to use for the VPC lattice service itself. Then we'll create a gateway object in Kubernetes with a listener which references the ACM certificate. We do this by using the ARN of the certificate. Next, we'll create HTTP routes for the VPC lattice services. In these HTTP routes, we'll define the backend Kubernetes services their namespace, and the custom domain name we wish to use. Wrapping up the configuration, we'll add a Route53C name entry to map the custom domain name to the auto-generated VPC lattice domain name. Finally, we'll test the custom domain names to access the services. Okay, so opening up the console, selecting Certificate Manager. We'll start out by requesting a certificate. Uh, I'm going to create a wildcard certificate, so I'm just going to put asterisks in there. Let's request the certificate and do a refresh and you'll see it's pending validation so we can do that through DNS okay let's refresh it again okay we see the certificates issued go and get the the on for the the certificate we're going to use that in the next step so here's the gateway YAML file that I've created. So I've put in the on there, an asterisk in there. We can, I'm actually using asterisk. So let's take that out and put a wildcard in there instead. We'll just type it out. Let's go and apply the gateway and we'll let's go and check that it's, uh, it's reconciled. Okay, it's not reconciled yet. Let's go and refresh again. Okay, that reconciled. So we've got a few services here, and the next step is that we're going to create uh, HTTP routes that point to the back ends. Now, you can see I've got Hedgehog and Badger in England, and I've got Wombat and Dingo that are in the default namespace. And we're going to create for both. So let's start out with uh, Animals Australia. You can see that we've defined the custom host name that we wish to use for this service, australia.demo.vpc-lattice.com. And we've also, underneath the section name, reference the wildcard.demo.vpc-lattice.com, which refers back to the listener that we configured in the gateway. In those two lines, you can see that we've got the custom DNS configuration as well as the custom certificate configuration. In the England HTTP RAC configuration, you can see that we started to incorporate the namespaces. The backends in this case are both in the England namespace and the HTTP route itself is in the England namespace. We're referencing the same wildcard.demo.vpc-lattice.com. Okay, let's go ahead and apply both of those. And we can see that both the HTTP routes have been uh, created. So switching back to the console, let's go and make sure that the, uh, the target groups and the services have all been created. So here we can see the target groups. And you notice that we've got a dash England and a dash default, which uh, corresponds to the namespace. Let's make sure that the VPC where Cloud9 is, is also added to the service network. Okay, let's go back to the services and just make sure that everything looks good. You can see that we've got the auto-generated domain. So let's go and select that. And we're going to have to go and add that to, um, or create a record in Route 53. So let's add the name that we want. Select CNAME, and then paste in the, uh, the URL here. I'm just going to shorten that just as it's a demo. And then we're going to have to create a record for, um, we need to uh, grab the domain for that. Let's uh, switch back, select CNAME, and then paste, paste that in. Okay, so we've got 
VPC lattice services set up across different namespaces or the, the backends are in different namespaces, let's uh, test that they work. Let's go and try the, uh, the Australia one. Okay, so what we've seen, custom DNS, custom certificate, and we've uh, had services, Kubernetes services in different namespaces, and we've published them into Lattice. We've had the default and um, the England namespace. Thank you for your time.